do you know the difference between serving and helping who is the only person who can thank you who can serve do we have the fear of becoming a slave losing all my right freedom power and authority decision making yes that person cannot become a servant or a slave without becoming a slave you cannot serve so all that you can do is help if you want to know the difference luke 22 verse 25 and other translation you have any other okay in the beginning if you study in the school you wear the same uniform sit in the similar kind of benches a uniformity is there whether rich or poor there is not much difference in the society there are many needs medical police mla teachers pastors because it is these are the people who need to come here how do they reach there various other ways selection election competition bribing volunteering some of they all reach there first thing they make when they reach the top rules so if they make rules what are they called rulers they exercise authority over them dominate over them reign over them because of the rules now they d- dominate but they meet the need of the people in the society what do they call it benefit so they are called benefactors help helpers is it easy to receive help or give help give why why it is easy to give help why it is difficult to receive help pardon humility is difficult ah the one who receives is below the one who gives is above from above downward sir i need 5 rupees take 5 rupees i don't know the direction can you very difficult to ask hmm i don't know this cooking can you teach me very difficult i will cook it from above downward and the one who receives is at your mercy 
he may be the pastor you may be his friend but when he now go there he will say come tomorrow a hey, doctor very close friend no today i don't have time he can then he had to go and ask so it's from above downwards you can still remain on the top of the ladder <coughs> still feel that you have done something helping what did the lord says 26th verse Luke 23 26 But you are not to be like that Ah Mark's gospel this shall not be so among you So this way of working is ruled out in the kingdom This shall not be so among you how is your translation Ah, but you are not like that. Then he tells what is the way. Read that next. You said that among you should be like the youngest, and hmm. the one who rules like the one who serves. Hmm. Hmm. Read from Mark's Gospel, ten forty-three. continue and whoever wants to be first must be slave of all slave of all now introduces a new word serve which over the years have become ministry minister and ministry coming back to luke 22 read 26 again please but among you will be different those who are the greatest among you will take the lowest rank as a leader should be like a servant leader should be like a servant <coughs> slave they didn't understand he explains it 27 I am among you as one who serves. If you are sitting for meal, somebody serves, you recline. Who is great? Then now they understood what is the position. The one who is. I am among you as one who serves. He didn't say I was among you. He says I am among you. Means it's a present continuous. But when he comes as the king of kings, will he be serving or ruling? Ruling. Read from Luke twelve, thirty-seven. It will be good for those servants whose master finds them watching when he comes. I tell you the truth, he will trust himself to serve. will have the client at the table and will come and meet him goodness <laughs> even at that coming he still serves that's why his name is called the servant king <coughs> the servant king we sing that song many times it's an impossible combination for human beings how can a servant be a king How can a king be a servant? It's like a paradox, but that is further explained in Revelation. Turn to Revelation chapter five, <coughs> verse four and five. 
I wept and wept because no one was found who was worthy to open the scroll or look inside. Then one of the elders said to me, Do not weep. See, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has triumphed. He is able to open the scroll and its seven seats. Okay. John was weeping that there was no one to open the scroll. The elders said, the Lion of Judah is able to open. So John turned to see the Lion of Judah. What did he see next to us? Then I saw a lamb looking as if it had been slain, standing in the center of the throne. Uh -huh. He turned to look at the lion, but he saw the lamb that was slain. You remember Aslan? Mm -hmm. Narnia? Mm -hmm. Yes. He's a huge lion. But when he comes to the children, it's a lamb. Mm -hmm. You have not seen uh, it's C.S. Lewis story made into film. Narnia stories in that Aslan is Jesus Christ. He is presented as a big, huge lion. But when he comes to the children, he is just like a lamb. Finally, he offers himself to die. That's our Lord. The lion of Judah is the lamb. The lamb is the lion of Judah. Servant king. But if we become masters, we cannot become slaves. If we are slaves, we cannot become masters. <coughs> hmm? But there is a scene shown in fourth chapter of Revelation. Fourth verse. Revelation 4 and 4. Surrounding the throne were twenty four other thrones, and seated on them were twenty four elders. They were dressed in white and had crowns of gold on their heads. See, twenty four elders sitting on a throne with and crown on their head. We are all planning that we will sit like that one day. Yes, good aspiration. Nine and ten. <coughs> Whenever the living creatures give glory, honor and thanks to him who sits on the throne and who lives forever and ever, the twenty-four elders fall down before him who sits on the throne and worship him who lives forever and ever. They lay their crowns before the throne and okay. How long the worship was going on in heaven? Day and night. Day and night. night. Where was, what was the position of the elders? <coughs> Flat on the ground. Where was the crown? The feet of the throne. When did they sit on the throne then? Eh? 24 hours worship is going on. They are on the ground. When did they sit on the throne? If they are sitting on the throne, how can be they on the ground? It was day and night. <laughs> very difficult to conceive. It's very difficult to conceive the lamb and the lion together. No, this is a living the angels worshipping. At that time they are sitting. No. The worship, yeah, whatever. It's a continuous worship, you see, day and night. Yeah. The, what is brought out is even though you are brought to that highest position of sitting with God, your reverence for God will never change. You always be a slave in the kingdom also. Even if you are brought to the level of sons of God. So it is together. Sons of God and slave of all is together. Like the servant king we are also. But the idea today here is, if I become a master, I cannot be a servant. 
If I am a servant, I cannot. This we need to learn from our master. That is why he said, learn from me. How did Jesus Christ become a slave? Who can become a slave? John 13 verse 3. Yes. Before taking up the basin, it is mentioned that he knew two things. What are the two things? He came from the Father and going to the back to Father. That Father had given all things into his hands. If you put them together, what does he know? If you put them together, what does he know? Jesus Christ. Who is? Who is? Who he is? Who he is? Son of the living God. He knew his true identity. Today, if Mr. Modi gets out of the office and sweeps the floor of Del uh, streets of Delhi, will his reputation go down or go up? Go up. Today, if you get out in Bangalore and sweep the floor, NSR <laughs> You are afraid to do that. But Modi is not afraid to do that. Why? He knows his, at least the worldly identity. Do we know our identity? That we are the children of the Most High God? Can anything happen to that in any position? That is, if you don't believe God-given identity, it is impossible to become a slave. Only a child of God has the freedom to become a slave of all. Only a child of God has the freedom to become a slave of all. You can do the act of a slave for a brief time. It happens in a hospital. During the Christmas dinner time, all the students, volunteers, fourth grade staff, all will be sitting. Doctors will come with it and serve them. They know that after 15 minutes, they go back to that table. <laughs> it's very easy to do that for a while, but to be always that attitude. Hmm? That is a washing the feet is not an act. It's a way of living. Way of living. That's why he says, I am among you as one who serves. Not occasional. He was not doing that to show them something that I also can become. He was. So he was. He had the freedom. Now remember, serving can be done when be a slave. And serving is always from below upward. In the dining room, the washing of the feet picture is there. You can see disciple was sitting above, Jesus Christ was kneeling down. From below upward. Below upward. Only a son or daughter can serve. Now, There is a modern way of serving. How is it? Use the modern ways. Cut and paste. Change the label. Whatever I am doing, you say I am serving.
you put the label it won't become in the hotel they are servers but if the tip is not there serving will stop mission hospitals we serve in love but they always can help help us to serve you in government offices will be written but he will be putting the leg on the table and say come three months later service servanthood is not forced you must know that in the bible it is born servant a slave who is released comes back to the master and says i will be your slave for my lifetime happily joyfully willingly that is a servanthood in kingdom so no servant will ever tell another person you have to become a servant no servant will tell a pretending servant will tell pretending servant will force others that that also comes to this category yes am i in that category is a question if i use this to judge someone that becomes a problem we get upset over that the difference between these two is like light and darkness we'll give you some examples <clears throat> this help can be called otherwise self righteous service <coughs> true service here i decide everything <coughs> i decide everything when where how long for how much whom brother i don't like him. i like only children ministry that must be in bangalore morning 10 to 12 7000 at least travel must be provided so i build my kingdom <clears throat> so finally i will say this is my church my ministry here the lord decides and his kingdom you know the example of peter peter is a jew he was reluctant to go to the gentiles house gentiles are dogs for him but god wanted to send him to cornelius house what a difficulty the lord had he had to make peter go through hunger and he prevented the food to be ready <laughs> then he had to go to the terrace and rest there then a vision had to be shown three times what i have made holy pure don't make consider it is impure then at the right time the knocking of the door <laughs> servants from cornelius house peter understood everything what god is telling even though they are dogs i have to go there <laughs> he comes and tells i would have never come unless the lord spoke how much difficult it is to send a person hmm? it is written already so that we need not go through <coughs> to make saul into paul what difficult training him here the wisdom is from below worldly wisdom so all accompanying problems will be there selfish ambition bitter envy jealousy fighting quarrel everything will be here it is from above 
godly wisdom. Here the way is broad. Many. So severe competition and so division. The church will become two, four, eight like that. Everybody wants leadership. <coughs> Here it's narrow and you know the opposite. Few, no competition. It unites the society. In Kerala, many mission hospitals were started in competition. Every church wanted. The church got divided. Every problem came. Here, godliness for gain. Financial advantage will be very deeply rooted there. What will I get? Here, with contentment. Godliness with contentment. Here, it has to be, publicity must be there, and it has to be big. Small things will not be taken up. Here, secret and small also. One church, every week, Sunday it was clean, swept, mopped. Even the pastor did not know who was doing it. After many weeks, one lady was absent, sick and admitted in the hospital for two weeks. Those two weeks it was not clean. Then they understood who was cleaning it. She will come early in the morning, sweep, mop and go off. Nobody knew. We may do it, then we'll come so clean. Do you know? Is it very clean? Who would have done? No, my leg is paining and it's paining. <laughs> Here, you will be conformed to the world soon. So you'll become proud. Helping keep, makes you proud. He talks about, talk about it. So you'll get conformed to the world. Here, transformation happens. Actually, minister, God-given ministry is the means of transformation of the ministry himself. Maybe it at home, kitchen, anywhere. You can be kind, patient, loving, or arrogant, impatient, irritated. After five years in the kitchen, you will become like somebody else. Hmm? Here, there is no love. It's only a duty. It's five o'clock, my work is over. Suppose a missionary who comes to South and leave, somebody tells him, can you share the gospel with that family? See, brother, I am on leave now. Hmm? Here, in love, lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. Motherhood is not a duty, it's a lifestyle. First Corinthians 13 chapter we studied, all the first three verses will be applicable here. Here you create obligation. Uh, 
obligation is you give some thousand rupees to someone tomorrow can you take that suitcase and come you may not cause a hardship parents will ask children why did i bring you up because the obligation is there. i help you so that you will help me it's not in love you will think it's all we are caring for children hmm? one day they rebel against you get out of the house hmm? there are a lot of differences most important differences this person has not accepted his death on the cross he has not accepted his death on the cross here he has accepted the death on the cross so what will happen here matthew 7 21 to 23 many will say to me on the day lord lord did we not prophesy in your name and in your name drive out demons and perform many miracles then i will tell them plainly i never knew you away from me you evil doers 21 also not everyone who says to me lord lord will enter the kingdom of heaven but only he who does the will of my father yes the heaven. ministry must be done as god wants it to be done not the way you want it to do it. this is the way i love it no <coughs> it will be rejected So that is the verdict here. That may be one of the reasons why it is rejected. <coughs> What will be the commendation on this side? Well done, Matthew twenty-five, twenty-three. Now, when you looked at these things, whatever work you are given to do, which category it comes, whether it is in the office, whether it is in the kitchen, hospital, anywhere, school, anywhere. See, finally, <coughs> the whole thing here happens because you are following the Lord. following the lord it's in obedience to him following him <coughs> you are a servant of him so you serve to whom he sends as the father has sent me so have i sent you i know very clearly the one who sent me is jesus christ so I, in all this i serve whom the lord himself the lord himself so all the work that is given we need to do it as unto the lord <coughs> as unto the lord now we will say can i pour out alcohol in the shop as unto the lord no can i print pornography as unto the lord Can I manufacture TVs for others as unto the Lord? No. So there are many works that are excluded already. <coughs> you cannot say, "Oh, wherever I am, I will do it as unto the Lord." No. You must be sent. You must be sent. Many of us have gone on our own. If it is so, we must ask. Lord is this the place is this the way i should work one junior doctor was working in a hospital in kerala was for their cm of meeting he was telling 
my heart is paining when i work there they are doing abortions <coughs> they are doing unnecessary investigations they are doing unnecessary treatment i asked why don't you leave that place they won't leave salary is very fat my heart is pain what is the use of this pain if you clearly sense that's not my place leave it many of us sitting here <coughs> may have an alternate there may be few people who have no alternate that's the only job they got your alternate is not possible in your mind because salary difference will be there hmm if you exclude salary you will get job anywhere <coughs> so what keeps you there are you called are you sent you cannot volunteer to be in babylon like a daniel daniel was sent there taken by god otherwise you will become a misfit don't there are no volunteers in the kingdom of god there are only born slaves no forced labor no forced labor <coughs> So all of us need to ask every day what do you want me to do what do you want me to do you may be in a place like Moses in the Pharaoh's palace but God wanted him to go out David was looking after sheep asked him to go to the palace it can what does it matter i am serving not people not anybody but the lord my appointment order is not from the committee once you agree to work in a place you have to keep and obey all the rules there <coughs> that is your duty now you cannot say i don't like the rules here then why you why did you agree and sign up <laughs> after that you fight no if you know the rules that you cannot you have to do malpractices why did you choose that place yes that may be enough now <laughs>